Hey guys, Mitch here from Jailbreak Untethered. Today we're going over Dashboard X. It is a jailbreak tweak that allows you to add widgets directly to your home screen. Now this does work for the iPhone and the iPad. With the iPad you will get a bigger screen, a better resolution, so this is more ideal. But if you are on an iPhone or an iPod Touch, you will be able to get these widgets directly onto your springboard. So you can see here we do have the weather widget fully integrated to move left and right just like the normal weather widget in the notification center moving over we do have the stocks the battery and NC settings which is an additional plugin now this tweak is really nice because it allows you to have all these options directly from your home screen without actually having to go into the notification center or the settings so if you have to easily go ahead and turn off your Wi-Fi you can easily click that button, turn it back on. If you need to adjust your brightness, increase it, decrease it, you can easily do that. If you need to turn the portrait orientation on or off, like that, you can easily slide left or right to turn off your network, your 3G, your vibration, or lock your device. So fully integrated right into the home screen springboard. If you go ahead and open up the settings for Dashboard X, very simple, you go ahead and we have the enabled widgets. We can go ahead and enable them or disable them by clicking the X button right there and you can delete them. You will have to respring your device for each widget that you do delete off your device from the settings. At the bottom here we do have the dashboard which you can go ahead and increase or decrease the slider of how long you actually hold to add new widgets. Then we do have some activation methods if you do not choose this new, uh, this next method. So to add a widget on your device you want to easily go ahead and hold anywhere on your screen and then hold again. And your new widgets little uh, dialog box will pop up here. Now you can add widgets from Cydia. So the two basic ones that you will get is the weather and the stock. Now if you go ahead and click on it you do have the options of the interaction or the auto center. If you want to interact with it by sliding left or right or actually clicking the buttons, keep that checked. And if you do want to center it right between your device's left and right side, go ahead and keep that on. So if you add the widget, it will pop up. You can easily go ahead and move it left and right. Now, if I don't want to have an interaction and I just actually want to have it there, you can easily go ahead and deselect the interaction just like so so now it's there and I will be unable to actually swipe left or right you can see that it just moves the page and not the actual stocks and will just have the ticker from left to right if I go ahead and add another widget here of the weather and I turn off the interaction and the auto center and I add the widget you will see that I'm able to move it left or right any position that I chose and I will be unable to actually interact with it since I do have that option undone so guys this is Dashboard X and it allows you to add widgets directly to your home screen for both the iPhone and the iPad to get some additional widgets for Dashboard X you can open up the settings and at the bottom you can go ahead and select the more widgets and you will be prompted to launch Cydia and there you can browse the different add-ons right here. These range from action slider to battery center to calendars to NC settings, which I highly do recommend. You can pick this tweak up in Cydia via the Mod My iRepo for $1.99. And this is an awesome widget system for both your iPhone and your iPad that is already compatible with a huge selection of already available notification center widgets. And these will be put right onto your home screen of your device. You have full support of moving them around, having the interaction if you do want to choose that or not. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.